Z-Inspector now syncs all of your property data from PropertyWare. To do this, you first need to generate a unit directory report in PropertyWare. Click on Reports, then Property Reports, and scroll down to Units to generate your unit directory report. Now click New Report. We'll go to Property Reports and look for Units and click Apply. Next, you will need to customize the unit directory report. Now we have all of our units here, but we need to modify this and enable a number of other fields, so we'll go to the Building Summary and select all key features for the building. Use the Building Summary checklist on the right to make sure you have everything marked appropriately. Now we'll go to the Unit Summary and check all the unit characteristics for our property. Use the Unit Summary checklist on the right to make sure that you have all the correct boxes checked. Now that we have this initial report, we simply need to publish the report. Tap Publish to publish the report. Once it's published, we'll click on the Individual slash API Access link to get the API link. We'll copy the URL and we'll go to our Z Inspector page. Lastly, we will need to set up the integration in Z Inspector. Now you'll notice here, we don't have any properties yet here in Z-Inspector. To sync our properties, we'll go to Settings, and then click on Admin Settings, and Accounting Software Integration. We'll select PW for PropertyWare, and then we'll click Add slash Change to add the API link we just copied. We'll paste it in and click OK. So at this point, Z-Inspector has verified the file, but we have not actually done the import. We need to do a map so we can decide how Z-Inspector will match the property we're type to the Z-Inspector type. Most people will have single family and multifamily relationships, but customization is up to you. Now you will pick your naming options. You have different options to choose from. This is how all of your inspection reports will be named in Z-Inspector. You can pick whichever is most appropriate for you. At this point, we will click Enable. And to sync, we'll click Sync Now. It may take a moment. If you just reload your browser here, you'll see your first sync. The system will automatically sync every few hours, but if you make changes in PropertyWare that you need to see immediately in Z-Inspector, you can force a sync at any time by clicking Sync Now. So now we will go back to our Properties page, and you can see all of your properties here in Z-Inspector. It's easy to get errors, so if you have an error, you'll see an error message here. We'll need to go back to PropertyWare and see which field we missed. Sure enough, we missed checking the box for property type. When this happens, we'll need to first unpublish and then republish the report. The API link does not change, so we can go back to Z-Inspector and simply click Add slash Change again, and then click OK to reread the link, and by republishing it, we now have all the correct information in there. Remember to use the Building and Unit Summary Checklist to find your error. For more information, visit www.zinspector.com.